Howdy, folks. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I'm reviewing another Louis L'Amour novel. This time, it's Conagher. Conagher came out in 1969. And then in 1991, Sam Elliott starred in the film Conagher, which was written by Sam Elliott's wife. The screenplay was written by Sam Elliott's wife, Catherine Ross, and she wrote the screenplay based off of the Louis L'Amour novel because Catherine Ross had been in a lot of Westerns and she liked the Western genre. She wanted to do a movie script based off of a Louis L'Amour novel. She did, and it got made. So if you've ever seen the movie Conagher with Sam Elliott, that's a little history on that. The book, like I said, came out way prior to 1991. It came out in 1969. And as you can see, again, I always review the covers of every book that I review. And I really enjoy that old-timey cowboy painting that, the, that they got on there. Now, I tried to find out who the illustrator was of this painting. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it on the internet. Still, it's just a great, great depiction of a old Western gunslinger, cowboy. Fantastic. You know, I've got, I got probably a hundred Louis L'Amour novels up there in my library. I've just brought a few down. Sometimes I bring all of them down to my studio. And, but this time, you know, what's Conagher about? Conagher, you know what, if, you've, if you saw my review of Hondo, Conagher almost has the same exact plot. Homesteaders go out, a family of homesteaders, a, a father, a mother, a son and a daughter, they go out into the Old West to start a new life as homesteaders. They have a cabin already set up. They get out there, they get set up in the cabin, and the father says, the father says, I need to go to town for some supplies. And as Louis L'Amour so eloquently puts it, in the Old West, men just disappeared. Because the Old, Ma the old West was a dangerous, mysterious place. And some times, guys, just people just vanished into thin air, and you never knew what happened to them. And that's what happens to this father, is he goes to town. He doesn't get that, that far from the cabin. And his horse falls and rolls over onto him, and he is killed. Of course, you know, he's told his family he's going to be gone for about a week because it's that's how long it takes to get from the cabin to the town. And so they're just expecting, you know, they don't know that he died literally two hours into the trip. And so a week goes by, a couple weeks go by. They don't see him. They don't know what's happened. Meanwhile, there are evil people about in the Old West one such evil person named Smoke Parnell and his gang of outlaws. And they set their sights on this woman and her two children and their homestead. And they start harassing them, just similar to the plot of Hondo. If, you, if you've watched that movie or read that book or saw my review of that on YouTube. And so then in steps our main man, Conagher. To save the day. Same as old Hondo stepped in to save the day. Conagher decides he's going to help the lady and her children on their homestead and fight off these evil bandits. And that's pretty much the plot of the story. Very, very similar to Hondo, however. The difference being is the characters in this play are way, 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 way more different than the ones that are in Hondo particularly the bad guys. I mean, Conagher is like Hondo. He's just, he's a good man to a fault. He has a code of honor of truth and honesty and bravery, just like Hondo. But I wanted to read to you, just so you know, I do a little bit of writing advice in all the videos. I wanted to just read a passage out of this. When, and it's not a spoilery passage because I already told you about the father dying, but I wanted to read to you the scene where he does die because it just the way 
the way that uh, Louis L'Amour writes is just sometimes absolutely perfect for what he's trying to attempt. And this is great. I wanted to read this scene. Um, so the horse has fallen on him. He tried to get up then. If he could drag himself back onto the trail, if he could get back where someone could find him, if he could just... He died right then and lay still, and the light wind of the evening worried his hair, sifted a little dust into the creases of his clothing. He died alone, as men in the West so often died, died trying to accomplish something, to build something, to go somewhere. Sometimes the sand buried those men's bodies, sometimes the coyotes scattered their bones, leaving but a few buttons, or a sun-dried boot heel, or a rusted pistol. Some of the men were found and buried, but some dried up and turned to dust in the wind. And one of those was Jacob Teal. Doesn't that just, I mean, doesn't that just paint a picture of what's happened? Here we are in the lonely West, a guy just out with his family to start a new life and dies right at the start, and nobody knows that he's dead. Nobody ever finds him. And it happened to so many of the Old West settlers. I give Conagher. I don't think it was quite as good as Hondo, so I'm going to give Conagher about a 7.5 out of 10, which is still really good. It's a really good, interesting read. And you will learn so much about the Old West with every Louis L'Amour novel that you read. So go get Conagher.